point for me, or one of the key focal points, is the church. Possibly because uh, I was a pastor for many, many years. I'm retired now. But uh, also because I think that's, I think it's the church that creates the tension in this uh, work of art and uh, makes a lot of other things possible. I have a feeling, and some of you art experts here correct me, but that there were so many bombings, so many acts of violence during the late 50s, early 60s, especially in the Birmingham area, that this must have been the background, psychologically, spiritually, culturally, out of which he, he did this work. So uh, when I went to Wikipedia, to learn a little more about the bombings of the 60s, uh, especially in Birmingham, I want to read you these couple of sentences. The 16th Street Baptist Church in Birmingham, Alabama was bombed on Sunday, September 15, 1963, as an act of white supremacist terrorism. Uh, that was in 63. This was painted in 60. Six. The article goes on to say, <clears throat> the explosion at the African American church which killed four girls marked the turning point in the United States 1960 civil rights movement and contributed to support for the passage of the Civil Rights Act of 1964, two years before this painting was created. Four little girls, four teenagers almost, uh, one preteen, three teenagers, were killed in that bombing. And they weren't just young people, they had names. I won't tell you who they are. Addie Mae Collins, age 14. Denise McNair, age 11. Carol Robertson, age 14, and Cynthia Wesley, age 14. I'm not good at math, but I think that means they would be in their early, mid-60s now, had they lived. They'd be like some of us. They'd have husbands and children and grandchildren and would have experienced one of the most exciting times in American history. And none of that happened. And to get the conversation going, I just want to ask you why. Why did none of that happen? Why did one group of people think they had the right to do what they did? I don't understand it. I just there are people today just doing the same thing. You know, okay. all around us. These shootings in the schools. Yeah. The children who have to die. Of course, it's not the same situation. But, but it's, it's a, a, a crisis because when young people feel the need to kill other young people, what's going on? Why does this happen? A real lack of respect. A huge lack of respect. Have y'all been noticing the row of houses? Mm -hmm. And of course, they are called what? Shotgun houses. Shotgun. They're shotgun houses. And I'm quoting, shotgun houses acquired this name because supposedly a shotgun blast fired through the front door would pass straight through the house and out the back. But this is the good part. This is the punchline. John Biggers, and I'm reading from their webpage, Biggers suggests that the name is a corruption of the word Shogun, S-H-O-G-O-N. I'm probably not pronouncing it right. But it's a corruption of the word Shogun, which is a term from West Africa, that means God's house. Mm -hmm.
quite stunning that that's John Bigger's idea, which means it has to be his motivation as he makes this painting. And I would simply like to say that uh, I believe our task today is to move this world from a world of shotgun houses to a world where every house is God's house. Who is not taking it seriously as this person over here takes it themselves? We try to move us out of the spotlight. I think people with darker skin are... With darker skin? Yeah, are mistreated. Yeah. And that is huge because uh, in just a few years, uh, those who don't have darker skin, people like me, are going to be the minority. What is it? 1940, I mean, 2045 or something like that. I read an article not long ago in the Atlantic Magazine, though, which said the cultural shift that goes with the darker skin has already happened. Who else is not being taken as seriously as the other person? Hispanics. Hispanics, yeah. And the whole immigration uh, problem. I, I'm one who, I believe that God does not know about geographic and national on that evidence and his, you know, the account in, of his own life, or, you know, his son's life, um, where he even had problems with the religious leaders of his day, um, you know, right, uh, where they were wanting to segregate everybody, and, and well, you're not as good as me, so either get as good or, or get out, right. The Jews and Samaritans were like this. They were, uh, they really hated each other. And Jesus was a Jew. Jesus was never a Christian, by the way. Jesus was born a Jew and died a Jew. And he tells this wonderful story of the Good Samaritan. You know, the priest and the Levite come by. On the other side, they don't fool with this poor guy who's been beat up. I guess most people know that story. But who stops to help? Someone from the Taliban. The Taliban stops to help this poor guy that's been loved. The Samaritans and tourists, they were hated probably as much or more so. Uh, we used to say the communists in the war. Uh, depends on when you were born. What you say, <laughs> isn't that right? <laughs> uh, Anybody else being mistreated? Yeah, a lot of gay people are mistreated. Gay persons uh, have been terribly mistreated in this country. Uh, I, I think that we're at that point in history where that is about to all change. And good brothers and sisters, whether you're a Buddhist or a Christian or a whatever, in God's eyes, if I believe anything in life, I believe this. In God's eyes, we are all equal. There is not a smithering of difference. In God's eyes, the real community is out there in the street where everyone is equal. We are all bound together by the same eternal love. That is a, a phrase synonymous with the word heaven. Heaven, the very same thing as heaven is this phrase. We are all bound together by the same eternal love. We're all going to be a part of that in the end. That's the good news. Uh, you want to hear the bad news? Let's hear the bad news.
The bad news is that a lot of people are going to be disappointed when they get there. A lot of people are going to wish they had not signed up for him. You know what? Don't you? Because they aren't comfortable there. Yes, that's the way to open the door for us. They are not going to be comfortable there. Can you imagine for all eternity being a place you're not comfortable? That would be hell. <laughs> Come to think of it. What's the most hopeful thing in that picture? If something just jumps out at me as being <coughs> hopeful. I think the, the kids, you know, I mean, even though it's a terrible event, they've made something fun out of it. Absolutely. These kids are having a great time. I would like to think the next generation is going to figure this out and make a circle and in their play move this world from a world of shotgun houses the houses that reflect that eternal 